Chaotic Compliance. New pack? Oh! Shit. Shit, Konami. Shit. Guess we're opening packs today. Welcome back to the channel, Duelists. I'm Helix101, and today we're gonna be opening some Chaotic Compliance packs. Now, here's a fun fact every time that new packs have been released by Konami on Duel Links, I've been at work. Typically, it's usually around my lunchtime, around 6 o'clock Eastern Time. And I'm usually tempted around those times to start unpacking, using my gems, whatnot. And I, I always tell myself, you know what, Helix, you're gonna record these unpackings, and then I never do it. But today, we're gonna check it out because there's a lot of really cool cards in this new pack, and it seems like they're introducing Psychic and even more Gemini support to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which is really interesting. Makes me feel like I should have probably invested in some Gemini cards in the trader. Also, something fun to celebrate, the channel has hit officially 200 videos. I know it doesn't seem like a lot compared to some of the other YouTubers that can get videos out really quick. Unfortunately, with my situation with work and editing, and taking time with my videos, I can't, I can't just put out videos as quickly as some other channels, so I apologize for that guys, but 200 videos is a huge milestone for me. So thanks for sticking around, here's to future episodes and videos and fun times to be had in Helix 101 Gaming. But uh, definitely want to try and get some of these new ultra rare cards, there's actually some pretty good ones, and there's even some regular cards here, I think I remember seeing one spell card here that I really want, which is actually a really good substitute for Union Attack. Union, is it Union Attack? I don't even remember. Ha! I wouldn't know! I never got the card from the Yugi event! Thanks! Thanks, Yugi Moto! Gift of the Martyr. So you send one monster on your side of the field to the graveyard. Select one monster on your side of the field. The selected monster gains attack equal to the attack of the sent monster until the end of the turn. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm sure you can do a lot of shenanigans with this and even use this for farming buffs, so I definitely want multiples of this card. Uh, let's see, how many do we get in this pack, actually, if chances... Uh, eight of them! Okay, okay, that's good. Alright. Alright, so I guess without further ado, uh, we have a lot of gems to go through. We have 3,067. Well, let's just start. Let's do 10 packs. YOLO, right? 10 packs. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Oh, I, I ooh. I like me odds. Please tell me... Oh! Right off the bat! What did we get? Oh, Gift of the- wow, Gift of the Martyr. What are the odds that I actually got the card that I wanted? Weapon change. Okay, so they're too shiny. Ooh, and we got a super rare. Double summon. You can conduct two normal summon sets this turn, not just one. Sanguine Swamp. You control any other spell or trap cards. Destroy this card. Face down spell and trap cards cannot be activated. Destroy this card during your second standby phase after activation. There's some interesting cards that are being added to this pack. I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, Mr. Ruroshin has probably already broken the meta and created some crazy decks using some of these new spells and traps and whatnot. Card Breaker. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card can only be special summoned in face-up attack position by sending one card from your spell and trap card zone to the graveyard. And I didn't read what the actual effect was, or maybe I zoned out, but I'm not too sure how that would be helpful. Aegis of Gaia. Gain 3,000 life points. If this face-up card is removed from the field, take 3,000 damage. So this could be good for, like, Taya, Burn, Cyberstein, even, uh, I mean, it can work. I guess you could technically do Cyberstein with a lot of different legendary duelists now with these kind of cards in hand, potentially. Boar Soldier. 2,000, what? 2,000 attack, what is this? Earth. This card can only be summoned by Flip Summon. If summoned by Normal Summon, the card is destroyed. If your opponent has one or more monsters under his or her control, the attack of this card is decreased by a thousand points. Is... I don't think that's a good card. But I'm sure there's combos that can be had if, let's say, they have zero monsters under their control, then you can get a free 2,000 hit. But Okay, so you'll have to have this face down, you can't have it destroyed, they have to have a clear field. Seems very risky. You can see why this is not... It sounds tempting with the 2000 attack, but it's just... Ooh, hello, Master Kyonshi! Yay! Am I gonna get good luck here? So we've got Molten Zombie. Ooh, more Pyro Monsters. When this card is special summoned from the graveyard, draw one card. Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. If you're looking to build a zombie deck, then that's definitely a card I would recommend. Baby Surasaurus. Card destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard. Special summon one level four or lower dinosaur type from your deck. I don't know if I'm going to start seeing Rex Raptor decks have that, but... Ooh, Ghost Fairy Elphobia. Psychic. Oh, this is our first Psychic monster. Once per turn, you can reveal one win monster in your hand. Until the end of your opponent's next main phase one, monsters with a level higher than the revealed monster cannot activate their effects. Uh, very circumstantial. Again, I'm not the greatest at coming up with fresh decks. I have to kind of research them for a bit before I decide their worth. But this could, eh, I guess, maybe... Potentially, I mean, you could always build this with, like, an Atmosphere deck, I guess, and then just... Wait, no, Atmosphere doesn't have any... Wait, he does have life. Okay, you know what? This is why Helix doesn't build decks off the bat when opening card packs. Ooh, hello! Are we gonna get a uh, uh, UR? That'd be really nice. War Lion Ritual. Summon Super War Lion. Another Molten Zombie. And we got this creepy Silent Hill-looking monster, the Screech. If this card is destroyed by battle, send two water monsters from your deck to the graveyard. I'm sure there's a benefit to that. I haven't really messed around with water decks yet. Maybe there's something that benefits from being in the graveyard, so sure. We'll hold on to you, Screech. Space time, please. More psychic monsters. 5 star and 2300 attack. Target one face-up card your opponent controls, banish that target. When this card leaves the field, set the card that was banished by this effect to your opponent's side of the field. Uh... Spell Absorption. Each time a spell card is activated, gain 500 life points immediately after it resolves. Uh... Uh... Escher, the Frost Vassal. Aqua. Oh, and more water cards. I'd like to build the water deck with Mako, I'm just not sure yet what I would do. I, I don't want to just rely on Daedalus, even though I have the right cards for it, but we'll see. That, that's something down the road I'll mess around with a fun water deck. If your opponent controls two or more cards in their spell and trap zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh. Except he has 800 attack. Maybe good for comboing to summon Daedalus if you don't have, like, a card that allows you to count for, like, two towards a water tribute. Ah. Drago Roar. Banish one earth, one water, one fire, and one wind monster from your graveyard. Shuffle one card on the field into the deck. Now, when it says from the field, does that mean any card? Like, can it be your enemy's cards? And I wonder if this will actually work with also Elemental Mistress Dorido. So, if she's in the graveyard, and because she counts for all four elements, does that mean that I only have to banish that one card and I can use this effect? And if that's the case, that'd be actually pretty awesome. I'm sure there could be some combos. Maybe I might have to revisit my Elemental Mistress Dorido Furin Kazan deck with this spell card. We'll see. Time will only tell. Card shuffle. Pay 300 life points to use this card's effect. Shuffle either your or your opponent's deck. You can only use this effect during your turn, once per turn. Eh, this is gonna take up one of your spots in your spell and trap zone, and eh. Minefield Driller. There's a lot of Earth monsters in this card pack, I've realized. When this face-up card you control leaves the field and is still in your possession, you can target one field spell card in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. Oh, come on, something good. Another Molten Zombie. Looks like we're building a zombie deck, folks. Assault on GHQ. Select one monster on your side of the field to activate this card. Destroy the selected card and send two cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. I guess good for milling. You could definitely combo this with the warm, warm, worm, warm, worm. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Warm, worm, and uh, yeah, super mill them out this way. So that's that's pretty cool. And yeah, we got another Escher the Frost Vassal. Ooh, Machine King 3000 BC. I remember reading about this card. This actually seemed like an interesting card. So you special summon this card as an effect monster. Machine type. It has 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense. This card is also still a trap card. You cannot normal or special summon other monsters to turn you activate this card. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can tribute one machine type monster. This card gains attack equal to the attack the tributed monster had on the field until the end of this turn. It's a risky card to have. It takes up one of your spell trap zones, and you can only tribute machine-type monsters, so keeping him alive is kind of risky, I think. I'm very interested to see what kind of combinations there might exist for this card. Poison Fangs. Each time a beast-type monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Oh, that's nice. Pay 500 life points, destroy all face-up attack position level monsters, level 3 monsters. Oh, 
Look at that. We got we got the angry panda, and we also got uh, Karate Man getting destroyed. I don't know what, which monster this is here. Black Luster Ritual. Oh yes, we just need now the Black Luster Soldier, which would be pretty awesome. And apparently, he has an animation for Yugi as well, which I'd like to try out. So this card is used to ritual summon Black Luster Soldier. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal eight or more. And I'm assuming he is a dark type monster, I believe? A dark warrior? I have to check, I haven't clicked on him yet. If he is, then those ritual ravens uh, are gonna be a spicy treat to have with this combination. Domino effect. When a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send one monster you control to the graveyard to destroy one monster your opponent controls. Aw, outstanding dog Marin. When this card is sent to your graveyard, add it to your deck and shuffle it. Not sure why you would want to do that. Again, smarter people will know that this card has potential. This is probably the meta breaking card of the year, and we just don't know it yet. We just don't know. Alright, so. We got a, two SRs, we didn't really get any URs. Okay, so that's 500. Let's do another 10 packs. Come on, URs. Come on. Ooh, gather your mind. Add one gather your mind card from your deck to your hand. Your deck is then shuffled. You can only use one gather your mind per turn. So I guess this is just a constant shuffle card. This could actually work maybe well in a Cerberus farm deck, because you just keep using this each turn. It'll keep coming back to your hand, you shuffle your cards, and he's going to constantly keep gaining attack power when you keep repeating this. And you can do it once per turn, so that's pretty cool. Malice Dispersion. Discard one card from your hand, destroy all face-up continuous trap cards. Still prefer Twister. Telekinetic Shocker. If a Psychic-type monster on the field would be destroyed, you can pay 500 life points and destroy this card as well. I noticed that a lot of the Psychic cards have life point requirement conditions to fulfill for their effects, so I'm curious if that would pair well with Taya and Holy Guard. I'm not sure if you, you would still have to pay those life point penalties if you have Holy Guard equipped. I'm not too sure, but if, if that's the case and it does actually negate that effect where you can still take advantage of those abilities, then that's actually a really strong combination with these Psychic cards. Next to be lost, select one face-up monster you control. Send one card from your deck to the graveyard with the same name as the selected card. Here we got that. Earth Chant. This card can be used to ritual summon any earth ritual monster. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal exactly equal to the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. It's I. It's it's uh, I mean unless uh, I don't I know that Ritual Raven cancels out the effect where you need the exact number. I'm, I don't know if there's one for Earth monsters. I'd have to check. I haven't looked actually really into building an Earth deck, so that could be fun. Oh oh, please let it be a UR finally. Prometheus, King of the Shadows. That's some cool art. Why is he a spawn? Thousand two hundred attacks. It's okay. If this card is normal summon, banish any number of dark monsters from your graveyard. And if you do, this card gains four hundred attack for each until the end of this turn. That's actually pretty cool, if, especially in a Banish deck. This this guy could work pretty well, I think. I, I'm sure there could be combos, so... Hmm. I'll keep you in mind, Prometheus, King of Shadows. Ooh, Sasuke Samurai number 3. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent draws cards until their hand has 7 cards. Good for milling, I guess? Especially if they're almost out of cards. Yeah, this could be good for a mill deck. Destructotron! SR. During the end phase, if this card is the only psychic type monster you control, destroy it. You can pay a thousand life points, then target one set spell trap card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Hmm. That's, that's actually pretty good. And he's an earth type monster. Again, I don't think there's enough earth support yet right now. Yay, get the martyr. So now I got three of them, I think, or two? I don't remember. Disturbance strategy. Your opponent shuffles their entire hand into the deck, then draws the same number of cards. Another telekinetic shocker. Ooh. Oh, is this a UR finally? I think we got Black Luster Soldier, folks. I think we got him. Psychic Path. Pay 800 life points and select up to two of your removed from play psychic type monsters. Add them to your hand. Again, if, if this works with Holy Guard, whew, that would be an awesome combination. Poison Fangs. Yeah! Black Luster Soldier. You can ritual summon this card with Black Luster Ritual. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. That's going to be a fun card. I definitely want to try to mess around with a deck using Black Luster Soldier. 
Oh, what do we have here? Simultaneous loss. Each player sends the top of their deck to the graveyard. Seismic Crasher. Rock effect. Twice per turn, you can send one face-up continuous spell or continuous trap card you control to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Another Destructotron! Yay! We got two of them now. We're building a Psychic deck now, boys. We're building a Psychic deck. Stray Asmodian. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by battle, both players gain 800 life points. This actually might be a really good card. 1,700 defense, which is actually pretty good. And not only that, I can probably use this in a deck that I'm working on. I'm actually testing out... I'm testing out a viable bad reaction to Simuchi deck. And this could actually work pretty well, especially if they have strong monsters on their side. Put this up. Instead of gaining 800 life points, they're going to lose it if you have bad reaction to Simuchi on the field. Seismic Shockwave. Destroy this card during your third standby phase after activation. Activate this card when a face of dinosaur type monster control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard except during the damage step. Choose three of your opponent's unused spell and trap zones. Those zones cannot be used. If this card destroys itself, you can target one dinosaur type monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So I guess this prevents them from using three zones on their side? I'm not too sure. Again, this is a, a continuous trap. I'm not sure when it destroy this card. Yeah, okay, so third standby, so it destroys itself. Okay. That could be good. Ooh. We got some runes happening here. Stormcaller. Another psychic monster. You can put your opponent's monsters that are destroyed by battle with other psychic type monsters on top of their owner's deck instead of sending them to the graveyard. When this card is destroyed by card effect, this card's controller takes damage equal to its original attack. Wait, what? When this card is destroyed by a card effect, this card's controller takes damage equal to its original attack. Man, Psychic cards are a little bit dangerous. I feel like there's a lot of life point penalties. Uh, again, maybe Taya can nullify that effect. That's 2,300 damage that would go to you. But this could be very handy, especially if they have weak monsters on their side and you want to just keep making them draw that same exact monster. Well, I mean, as long as they don't play it again, then you have this combination here to keep them looping. Dr. Cranium. God, these Psychic cards are funny. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 800 life points to add one psychic type monster from your deck to your hand. So, yeah, this is pretty good for trying to get the cards that you need for your psychic deck. Machine Kings, right? Okay, we got these. Psychic Reactor. If you control a psychic type monster, apply this effect to all psychic type monsters you control. Currently control. For the rest of this turn, when a psychic type monster you control battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, banish that psychic type monster and also banish that opponent's monster. I don't know enough about psychic cards and I don't know... I mean, banishing monsters is good in a sense so they can't even use them for anything, but I haven't really run into many people that need cards to be in their graveyard. It's not very common to see banish decks, so... Uh. Jar of Avarice. Target five cards in your graveyard except Jar of Avarice. Shuffle all five into the deck, then draw one card. You can only activate one Jar of Avarice per turn. Ooh, I like this. I like this card. This card is going to be a fun one to use. So we got one UR. We got Black Luster Soldier. We still got a few packs to go. I've been actually saving up gems because I had no reason to use them in any of the current packs that we have. Uh, Seal of Wickedness. Once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, select one face-up card on the field. The selected card's effect is negated during that turn. During each of your standby phases, pay 500 life points or destroy this card. I guess maybe a good counter to Sergeant Electro, <laughs> but the, th the thing about this card is it requires it to be taking up a spot on your field, and also it requires 500 life points for each standby phase, so that's a costly card. Yeah. Yay, another Jar of Avarice. Me likes. Planet Pathfinder. You contribute this card, add one field spell card from your deck to your hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. This this actually can be pretty handy for certain decks like uh, Toon World decks or... Yeah. And it looks kind of cartoony. I, I'm, I'm thinking this could be a pretty good deck, especially... Actually, you can use this for pretty much anything, especially if you need a field spell card right away. Not bad. Space Time Police. Crystal Seer. Spellcaster. Level 1. Excavate the top two cards of your deck. Add one of them to your hand, then place the other on the bottom of your deck. Sure, we'll, we'll keep that. I think that there's probably some future use. Ooh, oh, this is a special one. What did we get? 
purple. Oh, did we get that Koala Fusion card? I think we did. Trojan Blast! Activate only when an opponent's card effect shifts control of a monster from your side of the field to theirs. Destroy that one monster and inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. Domino effect. Yeah, Master of Oz, Big Koala, and Desk Kangaroo Fusion. I haven't tried making any fusion decks in any of the decks that I've had so far, so this this might be a fun one. This is a strong card. Holy crap, 4,200 attack. Foolish Return. Select one card in your opponent's graveyard, return it to the deck. Extinction on schedule. During the main phase, pay 2,000 life points, make both players send all cards they control to the graveyard at the end of the third battle phase after this card's activation. Wow, this is a risky gamble card. Sky Staray. Three star wind type monster. Oh, that's surprising. I thought this would be a water monster. This card can attack your opponent directly. At the end of the battle phase, if this card is. If this card attacked directly, banish this card until your next standby phase. Yeah, that, that could be kind of fun. That's almost like an Ava White Rabbit in a way. Ooh, Ma Maju Garzet. This one seemed like a fun tribute card, but again, I'm sure this could have its negative points, especially uh, with Blast by Tribute. The attack of this card becomes equal to the combined original attack of the two monsters you tributed for the tribute summon of this card. So if you have some really strong monsters that you want to tribute towards this, two of them specifically, like even the fusion cards uh, that uh, Master of Oz, you can actually get this card to be super, super powerful. Got some runes. Javelin Beetle. This card can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card. Javelin Beetle pack. 2450 attack. It's a costly summon, that's for sure. It's a costly summon for an attack that's. Eh, the defense is probably better. Uh, simultaneous Osprey, got that. Array of Revealing Light. Declare one type of monster. Any monster of the declared type cannot declare an attack during the turn it is normal summoned. Flip summoned or special summoned. Alright, we got another Black Lust Ritual, Boar Soldier. Ooh, Cyber Dinosaur. I like this artwork. Light Monster Machine. When you were. When your opponent special summons a monster from their hand, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Hmm. Interesting. So you can either tribute this monster to get it on the field, or you can wait till someone special summons something. So if they summon, for example, Mega Cyber, you can probably summon this one right after, which is pretty cool. And this would be a fun one to add to your machine deck. I, oh, I definitely want to build a machine deck. So we still have 170 packs left. Oh my goodness, I feel like we've just barely scratched the surface of this deck. Hard Selling Zombie. Each time a monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, select one card from your opponent's graveyard and return it to the bottom of their deck. Ring of Magnetism. You can only equip this card to a monster on your side of the field. Decrease the attack and defense of a monster equipped with this card by 500 points. In addition, all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field can only attack the monster equipped with this card if they attack. This is a very risky card. So you would have to have a card that has a very high attack and defense so that they would be forced to attack that card, and then, yeah, that, that could actually be pretty cool. I can jive with it. Generation Shift. Target one face-up monster you control, destroy the target, then add one card with the same name as the destroyed card from your deck to your hand. Target one face-up monster you control, you destroy that target, then add one card with the same name. I guess this would only be helpful if for example, they debuffed one of your strong monsters and you want to get it back in your hand. Eh, I don't know guys, you, you tell me what you think of those cards. <laughs> light of Redemption, pay 800 life points and target one of your banished light monsters, add that target to your hand. Banished monster has to be light. Most of the time the banished decks that I've been trying to work with have all been Dark Fiend, so not sure. Not sure, guys. Super War Lion. <laughs> this card can only be Ritual Summoned with the Ritual Spell card, War Lion. He is definitely not worth the trouble, in my opinion. Toko Show of Ghost Destroying. When the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can select up to two monsters in your opponent's graveyard and remove them from play. So it's another Banish deck. 
I'm assuming that's a banished card. Yeah, sure. Second booster, Machine. You can tribute this card to select one face-up attack position monster control. The selected monster gains 1,500 attack until the end phase. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Yep, definitely gonna be working on some kind of machine deck. Look at that! Luster Dragon number two. Slowly but surely we're getting Kaiba's cards. This dragon feeds on Emerald, enchanted by this monster. Even when attacked, few people live to tell of its beauty. That's actually... I like that card. Every time that Kaiba summons it, always pisses me off, though. Big Koala! So now we have one card towards summoning Master of Oz. Species of Huge Death Koala. He's meek, but pa people are afraid of him because he's very powerful. 2,700 attack, defense 2,000. Wow. Yay, a Jar of Avarice. Second Reactor, Gift of the Martyr. Yay, another Master Kyonshi. Aegis. Option Hunter, what is this? Activate only when a monster control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Gain life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. Ooh, what is this? So we got another option hunter, Javelin Beetle Pack, so now we can summon that Javelin Beetle. And Brain Research Lab! Ooh, that's a UR. Nice. Once per turn, you can normal summon one psychic type monster in addition to your normal summon or set. If successful, place one psychic counter on this card. You can also place one psychic counter on this card instead of paying life points to activate any psychic type monster's effects that you control. When this card is removed from the field, the controller of this card takes 1000 damage for each psychic counter on it. That is risky as all hell, but it does nullify... You can nullify the effects of paying life points to use your psychic monsters. Again, if Taya... Actually, I don't know. Now that this card came up and I read the description, I don't know if Taya's Holy Guard would, would work with psychic monsters. That's a bit of a dangerous card. Psychic monsters are very gambly. <laughs> so we got another Koala. What's this? Seismic Crasher, we got that. Okay, Seal of Wickedness, we already got. We've actually opened 40 packs, I'm stupid. I I don't know how to count. Uh, let's open, let's, let's, let's round it up to 50. Actually, I feel more tempted to keep opening them considering that I haven't gotten that many decent cards yet. Gateway to Chaos! When this card is activated, add one Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster or one Gaia the Fierce Knight Monster from your deck to your hand. Each time a monster card is sent from the hand, or a field to the graveyard, place one spell counter on this card for each of those cards. Once per turn, you can remove three spell counters from this card, add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one gateway of chaos per turn. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that card. Slip Summon. Activate only when your opponent summons a monster. Special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand in face-up defense position. Return it to the owner's hand during the end phase. Jowls of Dark Demise. So it's a two-star monster, 200 attacks, 100 defense. Flip. Take control of one monster on your opponent's side of the field until the end of the turn that this card's effect is activated. When the control monster attacks, it can attack your opponent's life points directly. Oh. This can be a lot of fun, actually. When you pair this up with cards like Windstorm of Ataqua, this could be a good combo with Windstorm of Ataqua or even... Or even any card that can, just as long as you can guarantee that he'll stay alive for the next turn, this is pretty awesome. But then afterwards, you're going to take either some life point damage. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's, it's a risky card, but it's it can be fun. I feel like there could be some combinations with this. Especially if they have a strong monster on their side, then that's going to, that's going to cause them a world of hurt. Ooh, Ducker Mobile Cannon. Target one level 4 monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Oh, this is definitely actually really good if you want to keep... Let's say you have a machine deck, you're out of the card that you specifically like, then this is pretty good for getting that back. I like... I, I, I approve of that card. Dragonic Knight! Holy crap. This is another fire-type monster. I really hope that we get a, eventually a field spell that helps with fire cards. When the effect of an opponent's monster is activated that targets and destroys a card you control, you can send the targeted cards to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Oh, that is a really cool... Oh my goodness, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, we got another Prometheus King of Shadows, great. Definitely want more of that card for a banish deck. Anything special? Destruction Jammer. Discard one card. Negate the activation of a spell card, trap card, or effect monster's effect that destroys a monster on the field and destroy that card. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Death Kangaroo. Oh, he's a four-star monster. Actually, he's got some decent defense. If the attack of a monster that attacks this monster is lower than the defense of this card, destroy the attacking monster. Damage calculation is applied normally. Oh! Oh, this is cool. This is a really good card. I want. I kind of want multiple of this card. Especially if you pair it up with other things like Mirror Wall or... Oh my goodness. I could, that's like... It's like... You can have it in defense, and it's still going to destroy... Actually, it, regardless of even in defense, I think as long as you have them on the field, and if their monster that's attacking you is weaker than this guy's defense, then this would pair very well with a lot of defense boosting cards. Definitely gonna mess around with that. Definitely gonna mess around with Death Kangaroo. Yes, Drakeon Shi. Any new? Ooh, Lady Assailant of Flames. Pyro Flip Effect. I thought this was an Amazonas card for a second. Remove three cards from the top of your deck from play to inflict 800 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. Why? I mean, unless it's a complete kill available, this seems very risky. <laughs> so we didn't get any URs. We did get two decent SR cards. Huh. Okay, you know what? We have 500 gems left. Might as well. Might as well. Ooh! Can I get a Prismatic? That'd be pretty cool. Branch, what's this? When a fusion monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of the fusion materials in your graveyard that was used for its fusion summon special summon it. I'm thinking of Death Kangaroo or Master of Oz deck using this. We might be trying a fusion deck soon, boys. Uh, Lakunga. Water type monster. Plant. Oh, sorry. Yeah, water, but it's a plant effect. 1700 attack. You can banish two water monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one Lakunga token in attack position. 700 attack. Oh. Huh. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. This would be interesting for a water deck for sure. Prometheus. Prepare to strike back. Each time your opponent declares a face-up defense position monster as an attack target, toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, change the target of monster to attack position. If you call it wrong, the controller of this card takes damage equal to the amount that the attack of the attacking monster is higher than the defense of the attack. That's a mouthful. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Stormcaller, Machine King. Ooh, Herculean Power. Once per turn, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Gemini monster from your hand. Again, I might consider trying to build a Gemini deck. I don't know the effect in this yet, and ooh, did we get a UR? Did we get a UR? We got a UR! Magic Drain! When your opponent activates a spell card, they can discard one spell card to negate this card's effect, otherwise negate the activation of their spell card, and if you do, destroy it. I like this card. Ooh, got the hiccups. I like this card, this is a good one. So you can basically force them to remove a spell card in their hand to avoid from them having their spell card's effect negated. That's actually pretty cool. So you can stop a lot of stuff like Ryoku, uh, depending if they have any other spell cards in their hand that they want to get rid of, but that's pretty cool. Okay, any new cards? I want some new cards. We got that, we got that. Ooh, what is this? Zeta Reticulant. Reticulant? Dark Fairy type. It's a dark fairy. That's actually kind of cool. You contribute one Eva token to special summon this card from your hand. While this card is in the graveyard, each time a monster your opponent controls is removed from play, special summon one Eva token. Do we... I don't recall seeing where these Eva tokens come from. But that's cool, nonetheless. That's pretty cool. Oh, what do we have here? I've got another Zeta Ridiculous. Skelosaurus! Oh, a Bakura's card. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is a normal monster in the field, you can normal summon it to have it become an effect monster with these effects. This card becomes Earth Dinosaur type. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your field in defense position. And if you do, it becomes a zombie type. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. And this is a Gemini monster. Again, Gemini cards. Oh, did we get a UR? Did we get a UR? Yes, we did. Fusion Sage. Add one polymerization card from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Cool, so this is basically something to help with fusion decks. Get the Martyr. No. Okay. So we are out. We got two URs that... Ah, uh, two URs and an SR during that card pack opening. So that's pretty good. We got... We got... We 
we only got a few URs left. There's still a few SRs that I want. I'm not going to reset the deck. Yeah, I'm not going to reset the Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that I rambled on a little bit, but I like trying to think of what some of these cards can be used for. And if you have any suggestions of any of the cards that we specifically got that maybe I wasn't sure about, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate that. I've been messing around with several new decks. I haven't fully gotten a grasp of making them viable completely yet. But eventually I will record videos for them. I'm having some fun trying out some new stuff. And these new cards are definitely going to mix around some of the cards that I'm already using. So hopefully I can maybe work them into some other decks to, to find some viable combinations. Please remember to drop a like below if you enjoyed this video. And also remember to subscribe so you can be notified whenever new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content comes out on the channel. As well, always remember to check out Darman, my good friend, my good pal, my misplay master. His link is in the description below. He's got really great Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. And I'll see you all on the next level.